Hello everyone, Violet here, and happy day 21 of NaNoWriMo. Um, on the last video yesterday, I shared with you a few writing books that I've really loved and um, I've found really helpful. And today I wanted to share with you a passage from The Right to Write by Julia Cameron. Um, so this is something that I remember reading from it and I've really taken it into heart, this NaNoWriMo. So I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. Uh, it has to do with time and finding the time to write and how we often say, oh, if only I had the time. So here we go. The if I had, a, had time lie is a convenient way to ignore the fact that novels require being written and that writing happens a sentence at a time. Sentences can happen in a moment, enough stolen moments, enough stolen sentences, and a novel is born without the luxury of time. When we make time to write, we can do it anytime, anywhere. Once we learn the knack of dropping down the well, a knack I teach people by, by having people write three page, pages of longhand first thing in the morning, that's what I was talking about doing morning pages, the well can be dropped down anywhere, anytime, in your dentist's office, on an airplane, at the train station waiting for someone else's commuter train, between appointments at the office, at lunch, on a coffee break, at the hairdresser's, at the kitchen table while the onion saute. If we learn to write from the sheer love of writing, there's always enough time. But time must be stolen like a quick kiss between lovers on the run. As a shrewd woman once told me, the busiest and most important man can always find time for you if he's in love with you, and if he can't, then he's not in love. When we love our writing, we find time for it. The trick to finding writing time then is to write from love and not with an eye to product. Don't try to write something perfect, just write. Don't try to write the whole megala, just start the whole megala. Yes, it is daunting to think of finding time to write an entire novel, but it is not so daunting to think of finding time to write a paragraph, even a sentence. And paragraphs made of sentences are what novels are really made of. So what I really remembered from that passage that I've taken with me, this NaNoWriMo, is, um, I'm sure you can hear in the background, but I have a baby. And um, this is like a time in life where I often feel like I don't have time for myself at all, and yet it's the time that I'm choosing to do my first NaNoWriMo. Um, but I've now finished Act 2, uh, and there are three acts, so I'm starting Act 3 today, and I just... I, I feel so excited, but one thing that's really made a big difference is my sort of stolen moments with writing. So I'll have my notebook with me and I'll write when um, I've written in my car in the drive through line to get a coffee. I've um, written like uh, when I was feeding my baby on the couch. There, there are many, many examples, but just the idea of like finding those stolen moments to write and then those little pieces can make up a much, much bigger piece. And I think that that's something that I'm going to really take with me after this NaNoWriMo as well. So let me know your thoughts on that and that concept and what's your relationship to time and writing. Um, I think a lot of our relationship to time is the stories that we tell ourselves. Because I really see a tendency for people to lean towards being like, oh, I'm so busy all the time. Oh, I'm way too busy. Oh, it's too crazy. And that sort of a thing, which um, in some ways, like I think can make people feel important. And um, it's like, look, I'm doing a lot. So, so there's a lot of value here. But just like I was talking about a couple videos ago about boredom and creativity, I think it's really from those spaces of stillness which are few and far between for me right now, but anyway, in those spaces of stillness that we can um, really create and get going. So let me know your thoughts below. I hope you're having a wonderful NaNoWriMo. And um, in two days, I will be doing Tuesday through Saturday, writing sprints, write-ins. <laughs> I'm like, what do I call it? There's so many things to call it. Writing sprints, write with me videos, uh, live streams, write-ins. Um, I will be doing it every morning. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so please come join me if you would like, and I hope to see you then, and otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Happy writing!